Mm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome to my latest tool for Tabletop Simulator. This is a tool, not well, it's a mod, but it's just a tool. This is called the Pack Up Bag. It's uh, based on Mr. Stump's excellent memory bag. Now, the difference is that this one will pack up everything inside a scripting zone. So basically, I've created a script zone just at the top of the table here. And everything inside that zone, when you click on the demo bag and you hit pick up, will just be sucked in. And it's that simple. That's basically what it does. The cool thing is that it'll also, if you move things around, you know what I mean? It'll remember what you've moved. So if I, I move that blue one there and I move this, I move the two red cubes down here, I now go pack up and then I go place and they're also moved. And this is persistent across save games. So if you save the game and load the game, it'll remember all this stuff. Now you're probably wondering why there's tons of stuff not getting picked up. And that's because if the demo, I've just demonstrated some of the different options. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna load up the scripting, go to the demo bag and walk you through how to set this mod up for when you use it yourself. Basically, you need to type in the pack up zone or the script zone that you want to pack up from, that you need to put the number of the zone in there. And the way you do that is you just right click on the zone that you've drawn and you get the number. It's that simple. Then the additive equals true is just saying to save the data. And that is for mod makers, just in case they need it. Like you might have a situation where while you're setting up, you want the bag to be all set up, but then when you want to other people to use your mod, you don't want them to change the way it's set up. So basically if you turn that into false, like at the moment, so if I add new objects to here, as well as moving them, if I add new objects, they'll also be packed up. But if you have additive turned to false, then the new objects or the moved objects will not be saved every time you pack up. Then you have ignore tag, ignore name, ignore description, ignore GUI or uh, GUID. I, I just keep saying GUI because it's easier to say, but basically these are just little ignore lists that you can set up. So for example, in this demo, I've got objects here are ignored by name. So anything that has the, the name NPC and everything that has the name doorway will be ignored because I've written doorway or NPC in the name section. And as you can see in the script, ignore name doorway, ignore description is the other one. So you can see that I've got these two here, which have got names, but they've also got description, search location, uh, burn, uh, burned location. So these these ones will also, they'll just ignore by name or ignore by description. It's very, very simple. You just add them in, in a list. Ignore by GUID is also very, very useful. These two objects up here, for example, are being ignored by their GUI. So all you need to do is just right click on an object and go GUID and you'll get the, the GUI and you're done. Very, very simple. Now you might notice that these two objects here will be picked up. So boom, see how they're getting picked up? That's because there's another section that you can add if you want called force by GUID. So even if it's outside the scripting zone or even if it's in the other ignore lists, if you put the GUID of the object into forced, it'll always be added to the pack up. Very, very simple. Oh, and there's one more ignore type I forgot to mention actually. You can also ignore by tag. So that's things like deck, tile, board, the different types, I guess you call it in Tabletop Simulator, dice. They're all different tags that objects can have. So at the moment I'm ignoring by deck. So anything that is a deck, like see there's a, these, these things are decks. Uh, you can see it here. I just put down three decks. If I go pack up, none of them will be packed up. 
and it, that's pretty much the entire mod. Now there's a two bags in this mod. There's a green one called demo bag, and then there's a brown one called pickup bag. That's the one for you to actually use. Basically, that just is the exact same script, except all the ignores and all the forces are zeroed out. So just for you to add stuff in. So for example, if you wanted to use this mod, let's create a new table. And all you need to do is go into your workshop or in my case, a save game, but it'll be in your workshop. Click on the little arrows, go expand and click on pick up bag and boom, out it comes and falls on the table. I'll just change the table to make it a little easier to see. And there you go. And there's the pickup bag. And I'll just give you a demo of exactly how this works. So if I go object components now and I bring out a chessboard, so very well and nice. And let's bring out some chess pieces. I'm not going to set up a whole chess board, but uh, you know. Okay, so I've just quickly set up a little chess board here. So let's just save this. We'll just save this as more demo. I've already tried to do this before. <laughs> okay, so here's the little demo. And we've just imported that bag. I'll just show you how to do that again. You just go objects, click on the three dots, go expand, click on pack up bag and out it comes. then just save it. And the first thing you need to do is draw out your scripting zone. So I'll just draw one out roughly like so. And then I need to right click on it to get the object ID. Now, anytime you edit scripts, you've got to kind of save and load. Then I just go scripting, click on the bag and change this number. Control V and paste in what we copied. And now the bag is going to function. So I can just go pick up and place. Simple as that. And you know, I could be playing, do whatever, and I could go pack up and then I could place it again and it's all remembered everything. And that's pretty much how the, how the bag works. And remember you've got the ignore lists and you can also change it so it doesn't save it. So basically, you know, say I was making a mod, and I wanted a, something set up so it's easy for people to, you know, do their thing. I could just pack it up like this. I could then save it, load it up, go into the scripting and change additive into false. And now when I place it, still the same, but oh, I forgot to move that guy, but anyone I don't, but I can make changes and I can go pick up. And when I put it back, it'll, uh, it'll always be the same. It won't remember the changes. And that's the mod. Very, very handy, very, very cool. I'm pretty happy with it. Let me know if there's any problems and I will see you guys next time.